<laughs> no f***ing <laughs> way. Dude, that's a trip. That's actually very weird. Randonautica is a new app blowing up on TikTok and YouTube. According to its website, Randonautica is the world's first quantumly generated choose-your-own-adventure reality game. Users of this app are called Randonauts, and from the plethora of videos coming out so far, these Randonauts are being guided on all sorts of synchronistic and spooky adventures. Go, 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 go. Ah! Here's how it's supposed to work. The app uses a quantum random number generator, or QRNG, to generate a set of GPS coordinates, limited to a certain radius that the user can set. The user is told to set an intention while the app's QRNG calculates. Allegedly, the app is using quantum mechanics to demonstrate the power of manifestation and our ability to create our own reality through our consciousness. My boyfriend and I were supposed to get this kitten today, my mom said no, so of course we were really sad about it. And then I saw a TikTok about the Randonautica app, and I was like, mm, we need to do that because I really want a kitten. I kid you not. Come here, buddy. This kitten was there. It's also said that Randonautica is designed to help users break out of the matrix. We're breaking dimensions right now because of TikTok. <laughs> that is literally insane. It like told the future. Like it told the future. I am mind blown completely. Could the quantum field actually be connected to this app in guiding people on matrix shattering adventures? I needed to find out for myself. My friend Perry is the person who told me about this app in the first place. So we decided to meet up with our friends Brooke and Aiden to go randonauting for the first time. If this is such high value technology and incredible technology, why aren't we using it to go to space and find aliens and stuff? I think people may be doing that, we just don't know about it. What are you hoping to find I want to find something magical. I want to find something scary. Harry, no! <laughs> if we have seen people finding a dead body in a suitcase doing this app, that's a possibility. Is I'm that not what saying, you want? I'm not saying yes, but I did not say no. Harry. Oh, there she is! What's up, guys? What's up, dog? We are. Get in here. What up, dog? Hop in. See, I was thinking about this in the shower earlier today. What if I like set an intention for like my dead grandmother? Like she's like super important to me. All right, dead grandma, dead Magic. body, dead <laughs> body. Magic. Oh my God. I love it. But wait, what if the app is like listening to us right now? It probably is. Yeah. That was my logical explanation to how the app could work, is it just listens to what you say and then there's a database of locations that it matches. How do they know where a dead body is? So let's take a look at it, shall we? To provide the services, we need your location and we only use your information where we have a legal basis to do so. That's the most vague thing I've ever heard. It's such a loop, sort of. It's a loophole. It owns Pokemon Go and Harry Potter Wizards Unite. That's a sick game. We do not sell your personal data. The information listed in section two falls under the following California Consumer Privacy Act. It says any location data that you send is automatically deleted after 24 hours. Like we're gonna do it anyway, so I'm just gonna accept. I agree to the terms. Thank you just freaking disappear. <laughs> we decided we would take turns setting our intention and choosing coordinates, and I was up first. Oh, wait. Oh my god, intention! <laughs> magic, 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 well, and fairies, and mystical <laughs> adventure, and fairies. love. Did you say fairies? Fairies. <laughs> my intention <laughs> is magic. And fairies. Yay! All right. Nine minutes, it's 10 minutes away. Perfect. The adventure is beginning, crew on the move. <laughs> Squad goals, Rick and Morty is with us, they're on our side today. <laughs> Yours was magic, fairies. Magic, mysticism, fairies, and love. Okay, the only thing that I'm caught up on is the fairies. The cars, this is the Ford Focus. Yeah. I have a Ford Fiesta, so. You oh, know. you you said that like I drive a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> no. Whoa, is this the focus? What? Ordinance, please. You said it's 10 minutes away. It's seven minutes now. Something's gonna happen, I can feel it. It takes us to Whole Foods. <laughs> and I'm like, yay, magic. <laughs> I've been to this area so many times, so Same. I don't know where it's gonna take us, but what if it's someone's home? In the direction said, don't trespass, like don't go in people's backyard. We're, we're gonna door. knock on the door. It's okay. gonna be on the right-hand side here. Okay. We're, we're here. <gasps> you have arrived. I saw an old lady on our wheelchair. Maybe she is the person we need to meet. Maybe she's a fairy. So we were led to a residential neighborhood. We were brought to a house. Let's walk back there. And in the Randonautica app, it specifically says not to trespass on private property. Like, 
in somebody's driveway. It seems pretty magical, the wind chimes. And we did talk to the person who was living in the house, make sure that we had permission to film. So, you know, we wanted to let her know why we were there. She didn't speak much English, but she said, we're good to go. You guys can film whatever you want. They were totally cool. But a butterfly, you guys, that's a beautiful sign. Butterflies are my spirit insect. Butterflies are a huge symbol for me, and that's probably something coincidental. I feel like a lot of people have like butterfly things. I have a butterfly necklace. Butterflies remind me of my grandma. Huh? Hey, there's fairies. Wait, what? Wait, wait, guys. Oh, there's fairies. <laughs> Is there? <laughs> there are fairies. Aiden, all of a sudden, points out. Over in the corner next to a random bush, there are literally fairy statues. <laughs> no way. No, no way. Dude, that's a trip. That's actually very weird. There are fairies. There are fairies. Oh, oh my god. There are fairies. That's probably the second time in my life I've ever seen a fairy. What are the chances? <laughs> I kind of freaked out when I saw that. Like that was such a trip. And uh, yes, all of this could be a total coincidence. But the fact that we had said fairies multiple times and it was just something that like I threw in there, but then it became a joke in the group. And like we were talking about finding fairies and then there were actually fairies on this random person's property. Like what? What just happened was very strange, very interesting. Like I can't believe we came across actual fairies and butterflies, which are like to me a mystical symbol in my life. That's crazy. I don't think I've seen fairies or like statue form. <laughs> I'm literally just looking, I was like, that baby has wings. Oh, that means it's a fairy. Honestly, I was so flustered after that. And when we were about to go on Perry's adventure next, he had set this intention to find something scary and horrifying, which I did not align with, but I'm like, okay, we can do that as long as you let me set a protection prayer over us before we go so nobody gets hurt. And our highest intention is only for the highest good of all. Yep. If you want to see what happens in Perry's adventure, then go check out his video. I'm not going to say anything more than that. All I can say is that it made me want to use this app many more times to see what could possibly happen. Has anybody used the Randonautica app? Please let me know about your experiences in the comment below. I highly recommend checking this out. It's just a great way to sort of break out of our normal habitual routine and maybe find a crack or two in the matrix. Before I go, I need to talk to y'all seriously for just a minute. I am going to be taking the month of July off from posting. And the reason why I'm doing that as terrified as I am to not post for a month, I have posted on this channel every single week for more than two years. And it feels really uncomfortable for me to do that, but I need to slow down to speed up, if you will. I have so many ideas inside of me and I have even old projects I've never been able to finish. And I need to slow down to not only dive into th those old projects that I'm dying to finish, but also so that I can get really clear on the next phase. I feel like I'm going through this transition period and I feel like I've been reevaluating a lot, rethinking a lot about what I want this channel to be and why. And I just need time to like decompress and to align fully. So I'm going home to visit my family in Boston. I'm so excited to see them. So July is going to be time that I'm gonna spend with my family and also gearing up for the next phase, editing videos that I can't wait to share with y'all. And I hope you guys understand. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe and turn on that bell notification because that is going to ensure that when I come back, YouTube is going to give you a notification so you'll know when Sky Life is back at it. So with all of that being said, I would love to know what y'all thought of this video in the comments below. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video and what videos you want to see from Sky Life in the future so I can take that into account as I am sort of gearing up for the next phase of this channel. And that is it for this one. I want to remind us all, as always, that we have the power to thrive. We have the power to live our best lives ever, no matter what is going on. 
we can. We have that choice. I want you all to remember that. Hold that true in your heart over the next month when I'm not here to remind you every week. Remember to hold that intention and I will see you when I see you. Bye. We got a lot of time on our hands, yeah, yeah. Don't have to rush a thing, don't you know? Easy, let it come, let the sister sun hit ya. Easy, let it come, don't worry about tomorrow. Why waste your time working nine to five? Yeah, we're so young, baby, and we're flying to the sky.